Hello and welcome back to this video training. My name is Mark Hong. I'm the founder of MarkHong.com and in this video we are going to talk about designing and prototyping. Now this might not be for everyone but uh, for some people if you are designing your own product or you are making some changes modification to your um, to some existing product then this section will be useful for you all right so in order for you to have a successful venture with your supplier there are a few things that you need to know before you start making your own product or your own design so first of all you will need to explain to your supplier what you would like to accomplish right so take for instance if you like to accomplish you want to do some private labeling okay you want to explain that to your supplier many times you might see something and it's exactly what you want okay but with some other logo and some other brands on it okay and this is quite common when you are sourcing on sites such as alibaba right because um, you know they might be for example some product that's uh, sold in the u.s and uh, by some name brand okay so you take the existing brand and uh, you go oh wow i'm gonna look for something similar in china and you find the exact same picture posted on alibaba or some sourcing site now bear in mind many times and unfortunately it still happens um, is that some of the manufacturer in china might just copy exactly the same thing down to the very last detail such as the branding the logo okay and uh, they sell in china but because they are not um, the brand is not registered in china so they don't get into trouble right and uh, they probably you know the brand owner in in the US or somewhere else are not taking any type of legal action in China so therefore they have no problem selling in China okay but when you go on to their site you find the exact same copy now you would assume that they are going to be able to private label for you but that's not always the case so be careful with that right make sure that you let them know that this product is for private label or you would like to make some other modification okay once you have explained that and then um, you have negotiated you have talked to them about some terms then you definitely need to provide them with your logo with your artwork right or with um, whatever modification that needs to be done right and it has to be in very much um, in in very specific it has to be very very much in detail okay give them all the details of your customization such as packaging such as um, um, you know your uh, your branding right such as um, you know if you changing the material changing the color changing whatever it is that you are changing okay you need to let them know in very very um, uh, you know you need to lay out very very detail specific okay any type of related artwork it has to be provided to them in printable form okay and that's usually in the form of uh, AI file uh, illustrator file okay so um, that's the most common type of um, uh, thing that you need to do um, in the uh, uh, bare minimum okay so you need to product provide them with the artwork um, it cannot be hand drawn or it cannot be you know some demonstration and things like that that will slow down your progress so you want to make sure that you are giving them exactly right specifically what you want okay and something that whether it needs to create a mold it needs to create graphic or in whatever form that it needs to be created you have to give them something okay um that uh, the factory can put in the computer right transfer that into their machine okay um trans you know whether it's a printer or whatever right it needs to be done okay give them to them um you know your 
uh, 3D files or your AI files or whatnot. Okay, and uh, make sure that you always always specify what kind of packaging option you would like to have. Okay, many times. Okay, they might have a uh, box net. They ha might have uh, you know some type of uh, uh, template format that they can give you. You know to uh, for you to to make some small uh, artwork changes and things like that and that's all fine okay but um, you know you will need to request that from the factory and not all of them are going to give you um, you know their design okay uh, many times they are afraid of uh, having their stuff you know go into the hands of their uh, competitors okay so usually um, if they are not upfront in giving you that kind of uh, information or provide you that type of um, uh, resource, um, it could might you know very well be because of that, right? But you know, usually after you have placed some type of order, okay, put in some kind of deposit, then they will be willing to give you those kind of materials, okay? Or you can just complete design of your own. All right. So now, how do you evaluate the product once you have designed it and uh, modified it? Okay. So once the samples are ready, make sure that they will have them delivered to you. Okay. You want to get the exact same product unless you are simply prototyping. Okay. Meaning to say, if some concept that you have created. Okay and uh, it requires some type of uh, tooling mode or whatnot and this could be something really really small you know some type of box package right where you only need a die cut you know uh, mode or something and um, but even for that you will still need to see the prototype okay um, you know because many times the prototype will tell you whether that product will work or additional modification is needed or if the um, supplier has done to your com you know has complied to every detail that you are looking for okay so before you invest into that tooling it's always good idea to get that uh, product or the package or whatever that it is you are making prototyped okay um, and uh, you want to get it like I said you want to get it exactly to the down to a very last specific as much as possible to the same product that you are looking for then you are you know then you will know for sure right that once it start going into production the product's going to come out smoothly okay now beware sample are usually not perfect okay many times they will have some type of flaws and even if you are just purchasing you know something off the shelf that they might have in um, in stock or under inventory samples are not usually perfect okay um, you are just getting started with the supplier and many times for them you know they don't know what you are going to do okay and for them to go through all the trouble of making a sample for you um, a lot of time you know um, they just aren't willing to do that right they don't know you yet okay or you know they are just uh, many suppliers are just thinking well you know let me show you something similar um, you know so you know we have the ability to make it and whatever it is the adjustment you need to uh, make okay we can just adjust as you go right and uh, so um, you know don't worry too much about it uh, if the sample is not perfect uh, unless okay it is just completely completely crap okay and um, um, you know and then you look at the workmanship and uh, uh, workmanship is different than assembly okay so you look at the workmanship you look at the material is really substandard and uh, not matching the specification you know um, then you know that's something that you you want to consider and be aware of Right, but this is one of the downside, you know, where you cannot see the supplier face to face. You just gonna end up spending a little bit more time, a little bit more money, okay, going back and forth with them, 
right? And um, you want to make sure that you test the samples very, very, very uh, deeply or in depth or, you know, be very rigorous about it, okay? So that means um, to say, you know, whatever situation that you can come up with that your customers, when they purchase, might go through, make sure that you test, you know, that to a maximum and beyond, right? And test the um, the packaging, right? How it is packed, you know, do drop tests. You know, remember when you are shipping, okay? Um, especially, you know, you are shipping through a courier service such as UPS ground or something like that. Everything go through a conveyor belt, you know, at 45 miles an hour and uh, they get dropped quite a bit. So drop test is extremely important, all right? So make sure that you do test them, right? Aging test, drop test, you know, whatever else test that you can think of, all right? And, um, you know, lastly, you might need to go back a few times, okay, with the supplier just to tweak the product, okay? Don't get frustrated. Um, it is just part of uh, doing business. And uh, you want to make sure, okay, that you have that one perfect sample ready, okay, um, and uh, you know have uh, designed the process, okay, have communicated, okay, to perfection with the supplier. All right. So, okay, now let's do a little workshop, okay. Now, first, okay, I want you to sit some time. And start studying the specific um, the specifications of the product. Okay, scoop and uh, scrutinize everything, and then um, you know, and make sure that you study them scrupulously. Okay, now jot down on a piece of paper all the specs and all the improvements that you want to make for your product. Right, and pick a packaging option. Okay, once you have done that, right, now you are ready to start communicating with your suppliers. I'll see you on the next video.